Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, so. that should have been simple. But no, they literally just copy and pasted, did the vi- like, literally just animated the video game. And, you know, you don't even have to, like, do any critical thinking for it. Like, Hey everybody, welcome back to the Anime Summit Podcast. It's your favorite host of the most Sam the Bomb. And of course, with me every week is Danny. Ayo, ayo. Oh, sorry, I interrupted you. I was supposed to, you're supposed to let me say Hoot Nanny. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hoot Nanny Danny. Ayo, ayo. Fanny, Hoot Nanny. Danny with the Fanny and the Hoot Nanny. Dude, were you at the Hoot Nanny and saw Danny with the Fanny? Both. Both. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay, so here's what, like, low-key, here's what happened, and Nick's not here. Here's story time, story time. <laughs> Gather around, children, I'm gonna tell you the <laughs> fucking story. Uh, no, like, Nick, uh, th- so I don't know if you guys know this, but, like, the episodes that we've been putting out in the past, you know, seven fucking whatever years, Nick has been using the same, like, laptop. So, my computer, in the last, like, however long I've been part of this podcast, has been upgraded numerous times. It's practically a different computer than when I first had, like when I first started this podcast. Yeah, I too also got myself a new computer. Right. So, like, Nick has just, like, we, and the reason why is because we thought Nick, like, had, like, an extra computer and that he just had to fix parts for it. Um, But I'm not sure. Anyways, he's, I'm pretty sure he ran that laptop. It's, It's, like, done now. So, like, and it sucks because in the last couple of months, I had a couple of friends who were, like, lined up to give me or sell me on the cheap, like, some extra computers or computers that they didn't want anymore that I was going to give to Nick. And I never just got with them and grabbed those and brought them to Nick. So that's completely my fault. So he just could well, not get really it. now you really have to do it. Now I really, yeah, now I really <laughs> have to because now fucking his shit fried tonight and we were going to do a different topic. But we don't want to do that without Nick because, like, part of the topic, like, Nick had this great idea for. And we just don't want to do it without him. So we, we're – me and Danny are just going to do a free-for-all episode. We went in the Discord in the patron channel and said, hey, give us some quick things to talk about. Um, that being said, I think me and Danny are just going to bring you um, some free-for-all, talk about some anime goodness. Talk about some things, some things, some and some thangs. chicken wings. Thangs, what did you – uh, uh, work was killer today, but you had today off, didn't you? I did, but I work tomorrow, and James mm. does not work tomorrow. That son of a bitch. That son of a bitch. <laughs> Fill your hand, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> but I have Sunday off, which I'm grateful for, and I have one more Sunday that I have to work until my schedule goes back to semi somewhat normal. To not Sundays, yeah, because you've been working Sundays. Well, right? working every Sunday, every other Sunday is my normal schedule. But then come July, I'm not going to work on Sundays anymore. I've had it. I'm done. I'm nice. tired. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of you. No, so. I feel that. Yeah, like, um, and my job is not super crazy stressful or anything, but, like, sometimes – uh, you know, communication is key, and sometimes people forget to tell me things, or I forget to tell people something, and mistakes happen, and yeah. it just bums me out. You never, and I just got this job like six months ago, so I never want to make mistakes, you know. And, but they're gonna happen. We're all human. Yeah. Just like I made a mistake of not uh, setting up time with my friends to get some computers for yes, Nick to Som. use. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sam. Um, but yeah, uh, dude, I thought it'd be funny. I was telling Danny before recording. I was like looking through my as we were trying to like think of a topic last minute, right? <laughs> Danny's like, "Why don't we just do a free for all? Like, why are you stressing?" And I'm like, yeah. "Okay." I'm like, "Okay, good idea." But also, I was looking through my my analyst, and I was kind of I I have not updated my analyst in like a year. Okay, so I really need to update it with all the shows that we've watched in the last. Oh my god, who fucking even knows? <laughs> but like, um. I was looking through some of this stuff, and I was like, man, does this show or movie still hold up? Because some, some of the stuff I have here is, like, stuff I watched as a kid, right? 
Right. And, well, I mean, a lot of it is, you know. Well, actually, more of it now is probably for the podcast. But it's funny because, like, I have Bubblegum Crisis Tokyo 2040 at an 8. And Nick and mm. Quoka hated it. Like, Nick hated it. Like, they hated really? it. They were hater. it. Well, I don't know. I, I, don't, I can't tell what it was that they hated about it. I don't, I don't even remember. I don't know. They just said it was bad. But, like... I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. Maybe I just need to rewatch it. Am I? Do I just have bad taste? I don't fucking know. Well, I haven't seen it since like I think because I watched it when I was a kid, and then I rewatched it again when I was like when you were on the know, podcast, pr- maybe like when you when you guys reviewed it. No, I didn't even watch it for that review. Oh, um, oh. yeah, because I I you know I loved it so much that I'm just like, nah, it's fine. I won't watch it. Mm-hmm. But. I watched it when I was an adult again, obviously, and I loved it. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it was the when they went to space part. I don't fucking know. But well, I, how I see that, it's like it's nostalgia for you because you watched it as a kid, so you're right. you're just automatically going to like it, right? So I mean, there are some things that are are like that for me that. You know, I watched when I was a kid and I decided to, you know, rewatch a little bit of it. And I realized I'm also like, wow, like, what was I thinking? Like, why did I think that this was good? That's kind of how I was with Elfin Lead. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, when it first came out, I thought this was like, whoa, there's blood in this and like freaking people are being torn apart and everything like their heads are getting ripped off like this is the most gorgeous shit i've ever seen right you know and then i watched it again and as an adult i'm all like this shit is bad like what was i <laughs> what was i smoking what like, was I smoking? <laughs> and it, like as you're saying that i'm changing the score to boogie pop phantom down to a six because like i was like a fucking emo edgy kid when I watched this, so I was like, "Fuck yeah, the show's yeah. the show rips ass, right?" Yeah. No, it's it's not good. But anyway, I think it'd be fun to do that, and then it'd be fun that we we got some things that the patrons gave us ideas for, so we're gonna mess around, and we're just gonna have fun. So links.animesummit.net. Uh, this weekend, manga book club is what are they reading this weekend? Fuck. Hold on. Um, Ooh. elf, elf humanity oh plus size elf yes that that's what it is sorry yeah. uh, fake fan volume fake fan <laughs> uh volume one through three i'm gonna read this also i don't know if i'll be there at manga club but i'm, I'm gonna read this um because it looks really cute um and also are you guys doing watch do you guys watching anime this uh, watch party yes um i'm hoping to be there this time because the last time we did the watch party. I wasn't able to go because I forgot I had a family thing. Um, but last week we started our first episode of uh, Spy Family. So, and it seemed like a lot of people really like it. So, um, I'm excited to do this as like a weekly thing. For sure. So, For and sure. that's that we. We meet up at five o'clock Eastern Eastern Standard Time. Um, For so, sure. and if anyone wants the role, just join the Discord, tag me, and I'll give you the role for watch parties. Right. Or any other role that you want. Which and Sam- I kind of want to do like a a robot for that, so that people can just react to it. Oh, like a Discord bot? Yeah. I yeah. Can, we can figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Also, shout out to Ed for keeping Manga Book Club running as well. Woo! woo. And, we and have now... speaking. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, tell him. No, you oh. tell him. No, you okay. tell him. Yeah, okay, right. okay, yeah, okay. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> speaking of Ed, um, he is now helping me with social media. So he's going to help me with Twitter and Instagram and just try and get our social media up and and. and like up and rolling and everything like that because sometimes i'll forget to post something that isn't the thumbnail and everything like that and so um ed is just gonna help me out with that and everything because i kind of took over the social media for us so for sure for sure so thank you ed so much for your contribution you're the best fuck you ed you're also a cheater in Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, 
Danny and Ed are cheaters. Yo, dude. what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Fucking <laughs> cheat, cheat 5,000. Uh, but yeah, dude, shout out to Ed for helping us out. And then um, uh, we'll, we'll save this announcement until later. But we're reviewing a big anime in July. And I kind of... The reason why I'm going to skip it is because I want Nick to, to be here when we announce okay, it. Okay, true, true, true. It can true. wait a week. Fair, it's fine. Yeah. Fair. Um, listener question of the week. Actually, you know what, Danny? Let's do mm. Waifu and Hisbando first, but let's not do these ones that were for this episode. Okay. Let's, um, yeah, let's think, of, let's think of some on the spot right now. So, uh, um, la, 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 la. Waifu is um, Sailor Pluto from Sailor Moon. Okay, down, down, and down. And Husbando, hang on, is uh, Watsunuki uh, Kimihiro from um, Holic. Yeah, down, down, down to clown. Yeah, there we can make yeah. we can make this episode as girly as we want. Cause Nick's not here. <laughs> yeah, I know, because Nick's not here. <laughs> <laughs> He always, because because he, he always fucks with me, right? When it's someone it's you two, he always goes, "Sam's not here. We can do whatever we want." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, I thought I thought because here's the thing, we could do this listener question of the week next, and I thought to do it after the wife who knows Bando because we could we could make this part of the oh yeah we can the make discussion this part. yeah yeah for sure. So Gizmo asked, "What setting or premise would you like to see more of in anime? Like more steampunk? Maybe would you like to see more time travel stuff?" you know as an example and that's a good question yeah i mean this can definitely i i'm actually glad that we're kind of doing this free for all so that we can talk about this a little bit more in depth instead of just like answering it really quickly and then moving on yeah um man I, i honestly like i mean i have been seeing like some sort of like steampunk like for example um uh, Moriarty the pra- the Patriot is sort of like some somewhat steampunky, but not like that futuristic steampunk. Um, it definitely ha- kind of has that vibe of you know that Victorian setting mixed in with a little bit of modern in a way, even though it's set in its proper timeline and stuff. So, but I mean. Time traveling, time traveling is really hard to, I feel like, to portray. Um, I wasn't really a fan of Steins Gate, although I love Tokyo Revengers. So I feel like Tokyo Revengers is something that time traveling ha- was done right. So, but out of, at least out of the examples that Gizmo has given us, I think I would like to see more, you know, like steampunk setting kind of story Uh, yeah i i would love to see more and not necessarily the we don't even need to have the mecha part of to you know be a part of it but i would love to see something more more space opera where like like star trek or Legend okay. of Galactic Heroes, where it mm-hmm. follows a ship, you know, Space Battleship Yamato. Yeah, 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 yeah. But more modern, right? So, like, it's got more of, like, today's humor, today's art style. Maybe it's got the classic uh, walk into this girl showering. Uh, this guy is naked because we stole his clothes, and now he's running around trying to find his clothes, and all the hot girls are staring at his pee-pee. And <laughs> funny tropes like that, a little bit raunchy. And then the serious part, like, the 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 tides of war and the, the casualties of war and how war fucks everything up. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But like more modern, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe the character designers are like, you know, they make it more colorful, more bright. It's kind of funny. Mm-hmm. Maybe there's a little touch of harem in there. I don't know. Like, and it, no, you know, maybe... honestly, like I was even thinking about this now that you mentioned it. I haven't really seen a whole lot of harems in the past, like, years. Yeah, the only one I can think of right now is that one... Girlfriend, girlfriend. Like... Well, there's girlfriend, girlfriend, and then there was the one with the one kid who literally was... He became, like, the den mother, the door mother. Mm. 
he was uh, like a 12 year old kid and he oh, became the dorm yeah, mother yeah yeah oh and i guess quintessential quintuplets is technically a harem too yeah yeah there's like a lot of, but then other than that there's just a lot of other stuff with just like harem things yeah. in it i feel like i think i feel like when i think of harems i just think of you know pure comedy really right so i feel like the early 2000s were really good at that also, you know what else I'd like to see? And this is going to be a typical Sam answer. Everyone take a shot. But, like, now that Tokyo Avengers is kind of popular, can we get another, like, can we get another, like, gang shit? Delinquent? Gang? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, with just, like, a regular one, like, without, like, time travel and all that stuff and mm. existential stuff. Maybe just make it, maybe make it more dramatic, like, high and low or something. Okay. I don't know. But, like... I just wanted there to be a whole lot of gang. We do a whole lot of gang shit out here. You know what I mean? And then I want to like it so then everyone can get mad at me and be like, oh, so I'm so the show. You to take a shot. Ugh. You know what I mean? And then, like, and of course, people like recommending you to watch it. And yeah. you're just all like, fuck you guys. I'm going I'm to kill. I'm going to like shoot you. <laughs> I can't tell I you how many times I keep seeing people say tag Sam in discord and be like oh i think Sam will like tokyo revengers yeah. <laughs> hey Sam, you should read tokyo revengers i think you'll like it a lot <laughs> i've been done recommending this stuff for like two years and then people will finally get into it and they go hey, man you know Sam would love this uh, fucking and, troll me. and then Sam just fucking posts angry cat <laughs> i'm gonna cut all of you <laughs> you're all gonna get cut <laughs> that or I would love to see another um, another Battle Girl show that's not Data Live or Simple Ooh, Gear. Ooh, yeah. Maybe one that's like so. It's I guess it, it could teeter along the lines of Magical Girl too, but like one that's like uh, I don't know. I really like, love what is it? Tokyo Wars or something? I uh, know uh, Sakura Wars. That'd be cool. I, I would. I haven't. I still haven't seen the new one. I heard the new Neither one was okay. I. But like, I I would love like like Galaxy Fraulein Yuna or Simvo Gear. But like, mm. Simvo Gear is kind of like the leading show in that right now because it's like the only show that does it, even though it's kind of magical because they use artifacts to transform. Yeah. yeah. Whereas like in Galaxy Fraulein Yuna, it's more like um, it's more cyber kind of shit. I don't know. Mm. I don't really know. I think it's a little magical in Yuna. I don't remember. Ooh, you know what but, I would like to see. Something involving um, the major arcana in a tarot deck. That'd be cool. Yeah. Like Seven Deadly Sins, except not with the Seven Deadly Sins. Yeah. With the, with the tarot yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 But, like, I, I wouldn't even say it has to be, like, a shonen type of thing, like the Seven Deadly Sins. Like, it could just be, like, really drama heavy and... and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, yeah. more mat... I, I mean, well, I guess Seven Deadly Sins is kind of, like, magic in a way. There is some magic in it, but... Yeah. Yeah, I would like to see something like that. That would be... I feel like that would be really cool. Yeah, that'd be dope. Um, If I were to pick, like... If I were to pick, like, you know what I do want to see? I'll tell you what. I want to see an anime where they adapt a video game anime and do it, like, right. Because, <laughs> 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 like, okay, so here's the thing. And here's, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it, okay? Some people might disagree. <clears throat> but I think it, so number one, I think it depends on what what the genre of the game is, right? And number two, uh, just stop doing it, okay? Like, you can't. You can't take ones that are really story heavy and make it into an anime for simply because the, if they're story heavy, I want to experience it that I want to experience that story via the game anyway. Yeah, yeah. Cuz it just makes me want to play the game. But when it's something like a fighting game, those are easier to adapt, right? Because yes, there's lore involved and there's some story. Um there are fighting games that are story heavy like Blaze Blue. But like, yeah, with Street Fighter, right? The animes we got for Street Fighter back then uh, built off of that lore and made something really cool. Mm-hmm. Even the live action mm-hmm. movie did. You know what I mean? Not not the not the Van Damme one, but the Assassin's Fist one. <laughs> and um, the, 
the Van Damme one's really funny though. But like, that's um, just pure entertainment. Come on. <laughs> which is like, which is funny, like, right? That's like, like the fucking Super Mario Brothers movie. Like, I don't think they were like serious with that with that movie. It was kind of pretty bad that it was good. <laughs> yeah. And then they did the Legend of Chun Li, which was just bad. Oh god. Like don't yeah, get like me. it was. Don't so even bad. get me on that. Get out of here. So. Yeah, it's so bad. But yeah, like in, <laughs> I like in the Street Fighter one where like. Chun Li's like, oh hey, uh, Bison. By the way, we're gonna crash all your shit, right? So like, they send that like truck through their encampment, destroying everything, and it's like they're watching it on a monitor, like on a TV. Mm-hmm. And then Zangief was like, "Quick, change the channel." <laughs> 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 um, or like, okay, so I don't know. I just think that like, cause like I said it on our on our on our um, what you call it. Our, our our winter review. Like, I watched a bit of Shenmue, right? And I didn't remember much of the story. And mm. it just kind of made me, like, I feel like this would be funner if I was playing the game because I don't really... Th- <clears throat> I feel like there was supposed to be some fight scene here and yeah. it's not in here. You yeah. know what I mean? Like That's how I felt with Ace Attorney. Like, when they yeah. animated Ace Attorney and stuff, I was like, oh, cool. Like, like Ace Attorney has a really good story that involves you know, a lot of things and everything <clears throat> like this is going to be cool. And when I watched it, I was just like, this is literally the video game. Like they did the whole like when when fucking Phoenix um, wins a case, the fucking uh, judge, uh, you know, says not guilty and there's the fucking like text on the bottom that does not guilty. And then the freaking uh confetti just like burnt like like starts flowing down and there's clapping and everything like that it's like this is the game why are you doing this like this should not no no right (laughs) and plus ace attorney is also kind of like it's kind of a visual novel it's got visual novel elements in it yeah 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 like so that should have been simple but no they literally just copy and pasted did the vid like literally just animated the video game and you know you don't even have to like do any critical thinking for it like so well, no puzzles and here's th- involved or anything like that well and here's the thing too ace attorney is like he's an attorney he does attorney things right mm-hmm. you could have adapted a whole nother you could have made a side story you didn't have to adapt the game you could have just done like Oh, this takes place in between two and three, or this yeah. takes place or whatever. You could have done like yeah. a side story. I will tell you, know? you that the Persona anime animated shows are adapted well. Um, they're not which great, is, but they're they're entertaining. So, which is cool because like they could fill some of that in, right? Because like. The protagonists, normally the protagonists, whoever the protagonist is, they don't speak. Yeah, they don't you, speak. You don't, like, they have a name. Like, if you look them up online and stuff, so, like, on fandom and stuff, they do are given a name and everything like that. But yeah, you can name the, that protagonist whatever you want. So Yeah, for the but, anime and the other games, they got names. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, like, in the anime... <clears throat> You know, they are given a name, they are given a voice and everything like that. So it's nice to see that when they do that. So, um, but yeah, like even Persona, Persona is technically kind of like a visual novel too, because there is like text hat, like you have to read a lot most of the yeah. time, but they, there are like those cut scenes where it's animated and then like you fight you know your your monsters and everything like that so when you're and you're you're speaking for the main character too so like when Mm -hmm. they adapt the anime they can fill in some of that yeah lore yeah yeah i think like the 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 protagonist in p4 i think their name is like you narukami i think or narukami you uh it is i think it i think you're right uh i think it and i only remember that because of p4 arena because i played p4 arena a lot when it came out when it first came out yeah and they gave him a name in that but, yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. About. So the main protagonist, his name is uh, Yu Narakami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, so Gizmo, to answer your question, 
I mean, honestly, they should just not do those. You know, or you know what I mean? Like they, <laughs> I, and I, I it, it sucks, right? Because like that's another outlet for like the franchise to make money. Like, oh shit, we have an anime, you know. But like even um, even this, right? So like, and that for for you patrons out there, or no, well, no, it's out in public too. But you patrons got it first, I guess. But like, <laughs> uh, like during the. I think it was during the Pandemic Lovato, like or when the when the Pandemic Lovato first hit, I should say. Me and Mario did an AOQ episode where we reviewed uh, two OVAs. One was the eight minute or nine minute uh, anime short uh, that was that came with Star Fox Zero, mm, mm-hmm. and then the thirty minute OVA of Mega Man X, which takes place before before the first game. Mm. and with Mega Man, right, you can kind of... Oh, okay, this was a year ago. I'm looking on YouTube right now. Um, with Mega Man, you can kind of add things in and fill those things in because there is it is it is there is there a story, there's lore there that they build on, but there's not so much of a script where you can't have, like, an actual fucking show. Mm. There's It's mostly gameplay, so you mm-hmm. could literally just... You know, it might be a little monster of the weekish kind of thing, but you could work around that, change it around a little bit. Like, you don't have to have each episode be like, okay, in this episode he fights Chill Penguin. Okay, in this episode he fights Spark Mandrill. Okay, in this episode he fights Storm Eagle. You, like, you don't have to do it like that. Mm-hmm. You could do it any kind of way you wanted. But, like, and we, I think we said that in that episode. But, like, things that are not script heavy, I would do those, and then I would not do other things. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is what I'm saying. That's that's that that's right there, right fucking there. And here, here's here's another good example: the Sonic movies with Jim Carrey. You know, those first Sonic games don't have a have too much lore or script to them. Yeah, there is lore for Sonic and how it starts and everything like that. And they are building those movies around some of it and then yeah. making their own thing. And it turned out they turned out to be good. So, well, I haven't seen the second one yet, but I've heard it's really good. Yeah, I heard that too. But, so. We're gonna do a cinnamon. We're gonna do a cinnamon talk around that one. A little, a little <laughs> cinnamon, sh- a little cinnamon sugar. <laughs> but uh, you know, like, I, I, yeah. Anyway, sorry, I went on for a bit. But you know, no, yeah, you're good. It's a free don't for all. Do, Who cares? Don't do video game anime anymore, unless yeah. it's like something that's not super. Unless you can be more creative with it than it already is. If it's too creative already, then just play the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Agreed. So shut up, Gizmo, <laughs> bitch. I Just would say I would definitely say, you know, an exception would probably be visual novels, but to an extent. Right, cuz some of them are bad. Some of them are bad. Yeah. Yeah. Like school days, shots fired. <laughs> um and or, Ace well, Attorney. Well, or the the fir- the Dean Stay Night, the first Fate Stay Night, the one by Dean was Oh mm- yeah. Because the problem with that one is that there's three routes, right? And then they tried to do the main route, which was fate, and then include elements of UBW and and Heaven's Mm. Feeling It at the same time. Mm -hmm. And it kind of became this confusing thing. But, yeah, sometimes I think they work out. Like, I think Steins Gate, obviously, is really good. And Robotics Notes, I think, is really good. Yeah. Um, Fate, UBW, obviously, is really fucking badass. But, like, yeah, no. With the exception of those, yeah, I... I don't know if you okay, but Danny, let me ask you this though: mm. if you had to pick a video game, old or new, doesn't matter, to have like, let's just say a movie, like a two-hour anime movie, mm-hmm. what do you want to see, and like, what's some of like the staff or, ooh. or studio you would choose? Um, ooh, you know what? Honestly, I would really like to see the. Okay, so this is another Atlas game. Um, I want to see. Oh hell yeah. I want to see Catherine. Ooh. Yeah. Right? Right? See, see, that one is a good idea because, like, that is story heavy, too, but, like, it's a lot of gameplay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. It's not too much script. It's like, yeah. So, like, but you, like could, you, you can, can make it really funny. Yeah. You can for sure make it totally funny, especially, like, when, um, oh, shit. I don't even remember the name, char- the main character's name. Um, shit, I forgot already. Um. It's uh, on the Switch. Ka- Catherine Full Body is actually on sale on um on the uh PSN network. Oh really? Oh uh, yeah, PSN store. Yeah. Yeah. Vincent Brooks. Okay, yeah, there you go. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then there's Catherine with a C and then there's Catherine, Catherine McBride. A, yeah, yeah, Catherine with a I think 
I think I think Vincent's girlfriend is Catherine with a K. And then there's Rin, which is short for Catherine with a Q, which was right. in the full body. Full one, body. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Plus, that artwork is the same artist who does the persona mm-hmm. stuff. And yeah. So dope. I feel like there is definitely a lot of um, and Catherine also has um, good animation in it too. So they Atlas can... is one of the few companies that still does anime cutscenes. Let's be let's and like let's be serious. So here. good like, though. <laughs> it's so it good. Is. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. Remember so. when Capcom games did it hello when we were kids? Oh, I miss that. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Danny the was like, Tales, oh. the Tales series also kind of does animation. That's, oh, that's right. Uh, ooh. Ta- a Tales anime? Th- isn't there a few of them? Mm, but they're newer ones though. They're newer ones. I think ones, they though. are newer ones. I don't know if they have ever done like older ones i don't think they've ever they never did one for tales of symphonia or before that i don't think yeah i mean i could be wrong let me see tales from Earthsea, tales of attorney oh is it wait is this a tales i think tales of eternia yeah this is one 2001 oh this has to be a tales of thing i think right or is it just maybe that's just a coinky dinky coinky dink coinka donka Oh no! Tales of Eternia on PlayStation by Namco, and oh, this was an okay. anime ad. This was a thirteen episode anime adaptation of it in two thousand one. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, maybe we should watch it. Ooh, playing on the podcast. Playing on the podcast. Don't shut up. <laughs> oh, there is some Tales of Symphonia. Oh, I is just look. Okay. Yeah, I just scroll down and I look at some of the recommendation. And there's, see, I don't. There's also Tales of. Uh, Luminaria, I think that I, was the newer. That was I a newer one. That correct. I think that was a newer one. Yeah. See, I'm a fake fan. Oh yeah, this I'm, is, I don't remember. This is, okay. I'm not too much into the tale stuff as uh, other people are. I mean, but, like, I'm I'd... not either. Oh wow, they actually did. Okay. The more I'm clicking, the more I'm finding out. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> There's two yeah. tales of Symphonia seasons. Like, holy shit! Like, yeah. The United World arc <laughs> and the Teth Tetha Allah arc. There's also um, two two seasons of Tales of Zita- Zitaria, the X. Wow, fake fans so, right here. Yeah, I know, I know. We're we're literally disappointing a bunch of people who actually play the games. <laughs> dude, I'll tell you, dude. <laughs> let me get okay. Listen. And I, I'm not the only one. I, I, this is a pretty pretty common take I'm about to say right here. <laughs> Please, let me get an Akira Toriyama anime of Chrono Trigger. Shut Ooh, Please. Yes. The yes. anime cutscenes in that on the PS1. Oh, my God, yeah, bitch. Yeah. Chrono Cross, too. Are you are you finna are you finna cop? Um, um I'm gonna cop for sure. Like that was my switch, jam when I was Dreamers? a kid. Yeah. yeah I mean yeah, yeah. if it if it's a I don't know if it's available on PlayStation because I mean that's a PlayStation game. But I thought it was coming on Switch. It is coming Radical. on the Switch, but it's it's okay. originally a PlayStation game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a PS1 so, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um But I don't even it, think PlayStation has announced a, um to release it on there or something i don't know i didn't see anything about it if it was porting on there or not i don't even mm-hmm. remember i did it on i did a newscast segment on that i, I don't, don't even know. fucking remember but that was my freaking jam when i yeah, was a dude. kid yeah dude so yeah. i don't i've never beat chrono cross There's, neither have i like, because um <laughs> story time so when i was a kid i mean i didn't have a playstation when i was growing up um yeah. my friends did so and we would we would go to each other's houses and we would play like these rpg games but we would take turns so if someone died then they would pass the controller to someone else and everything like that that's how we played these rpgs together so but my friend had chrono cross i had a copy of it but one of the 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 first disc was damaged so any time we would play it would go on the fritz and we wouldn't and that's why we never finished it because we couldn't because the disc was damaged 
Damn. Yeah. Yeah. So when I found out that Chrono Cross was getting like a remaster practically, I was just like, ooh, I need to cop. I need to do this. (laughs) It was cool when they put um, Earthbound or Mother One on the Nintendo Switch Online Nintendo thing. Yes. Because a lot of people didn't get to play that. Mm -hmm. That's another game I really want to play. Right, and I never played it either. You know, like, well, I think that, I remember trying to play a ROM of it that was modded for English. But it yeah, didn't yeah, yeah. Um, that was the only way that you would be able to play Earthbound was finding it on, you know, the internet and everything like that. That was yeah. the only well, yeah. way that you could play yeah. it. Because so, I played Super Nintendo Earthbound, like Mother Two, right? But yeah. like, um, I might, I might start that. I would love an anime of that, honestly, in the style that it's in. Like, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, sweet. Okay, Chrono Cross is also on PlayStation. That sounds like an Instacop 5000. <laughs> right there. Oh, oh, and it's also 20 bucks. See, having... I think for is... what you get with it, it seems pretty worth it. it oh, yeah. It. Like, yeah. that is a freaking steal. Like, I'm so glad that they decided to to have it that at that price point instead of you know trying to get like a cash grab kind of thing where yeah and they they freaking price it for like 60 bucks and they could have charged 40 for it oh they could people people would have bought it people would have bought it yeah so but i mean i definitely feel like chrono cross is definitely one of those uh square enix under underrated games for sure for sure there you go guys you're getting some video game talk right now yeah, geez. <laughs> Stop yelling at me. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see what some of the patrons have said. Uh, Mike said, guess each other's bottom 10 worst animes. We probably already know that about each other. Most uh, likely. I don't know. <laughs> Nick hates any Nick hates any time I bring up proxy battle, so any proxy battle anime. Oh, uh, well, Nick is predictable. Nick doesn't like fucking sports shows. Like he, he doesn't ex- he expresses that way too like <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't like sports shows, proxy battle shows or or shows that are centered around food. Yeah, yeah. Which is the or, goofiest oh, fucking thing. And music, and music. And music, yeah. <laughs> uh, for me, I don't like anything. I don't know. I don't fucking like, everyone knows. I don't like idol shit. I don't like idol shows I at mean, all. I mean, who, I feel like the, oh, the the most decent idol story out there is Zombieland Saga. Right, that's the only one I like because yeah. it's got like that other edge to it. That's yeah. kind of like, and I guess review Starlight question mark, but I didn't right. really like that. So, Danny doesn't like a lot of. I mean, she doesn't like. I should say half the shonen. She likes other shonens, but not half. Uh, I don't like the popular ones really, like My Danny Hero does... and all that kind of stuff. Sorry, and Attack on Titan. Fuck okay. you, dude. Sorry. <laughs> um, Danny doesn't and like. Isekais. Wow. What else is Danny? Yeah, East Guys. There we go. That was, I was yeah. gonna say. What else? <laughs> um, Gizmo then said, "Anime guessing game. We can try that later. Like twenty questions, kind of." Mm. Um, uh, then Magic Marshmallow, dude. I haven't seen Magic Marshmallow in here in like a minute. What up? Um, has anime ever taught you a life lesson? Something about yourself? Who would Who would you want to groom you? What live action director would you want to see make an anime? Is there an era in history you want them to make an anime about? Is there a hobby or profession you want them to make an anime about? Mm. Wow. That's a lot of questions. That's, okay, that's just, like five questions in one question. Okay, just, ch- just <laughs> chom down. Chom down. Okay. Actually, if you go to Anime Brothers, and this is like, this was a while ago. I think this was like a year and a half ago now. But I went on their podcast and did an episode like that where we talked about anime life lessons. And we've done a topic on it too, but yeah. I don't think. Yeah. We haven't I, done I, one in a while though. Yeah, I purposely picked moments for ours. I purposely picked moments that I wouldn't get too emotional about because I was I was finna cry. Yeah. And yeah. if I cried, then Nick would have been like, "Oh come on, oh, man. what are yeah. you doing that for?" <laughs> <laughs> no, he probably he probably just would have been like not knowing what to do. He would have been like, "Oh shit, Sam's crying." Uh, but like uh. on the end. An- <laughs> on the anime brothers one i straight up fucking cried i was Aww. like yeah i was like and then there was the part where he held the girl's hand <laughs> i don't know i don't remember what i said but i forgot what i was talking about in that one but like that one yeah that i straight up like and they let me cry it was great um 
but no, like life lessons, something about yourself. Uh, I can't. I honestly, that's a. I would have to really I, I'd have to, like look and think about yeah, it. Yeah, I'd have to think about that. If I if I will say one thing though, there's a lot of anime girls that I have like looked up to since I was a kid. Where I was like, yeah, I kind of want to be a chick. So that's what ended up happening. <laughs> so, I mean, like, it's weird, right? Because, like, Sailor Moon and, like, uh, some magical girl shows and even, like, um, Bulma and Launch and Android 18 and um, Eureka from Nadesco, all those girls were, like, they were, like, my sexual awakening and also my gender awakening. Mm. So it was just kind of, like... I didn't. I couldn't tell if I was like really attracted or just wanted to be them. <laughs> right, so it was really, right. Con- really confusing. Or both. Or both. Yeah, it turns <laughs> out it was both. But like, yeah, it was, it was weird. But like, yeah, then the, then I started getting boners for the male characters, and then I didn't know what was happening. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, no, that's yeah. that's. I guess that's something about myself that I learned watching uh, anime. I, I, that. That one particular question, like the life lessons one, I really would probably have to think about because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely watch a lot of shows that have life lessons, but I don't think that they affected me on a personal level. Really, I feel like when when we did our our turning red review, like those like those things that we talked about in that were like i can relate to those certain things yeah um anime is a little bit hard for me sometimes to relate because it's a completely different culture so um but i mean i've cried in a lot of moments um god fruits basket is for sure like where are the tissues god damn like (laughs) so um you know, a lot, I would say, like, a lot of things that, especially in Fruits Basket, um, especially when Toru talks about her mom, you know, that that's something that I am very close with because I'm very close with my mom. So that is something that I can relate in a way. So, but other than that, I would definitely really have to kind of, like, go through my list and see or like even watch something in particular for me to have a life lesson. I don't know. It's a little hard right now when I'm older <laughs> to have life lessons because I kind of have weird moments in life. So because being an adult is hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so. Yeah. I um. I was going to say something and now I totally forgot. I guess like, no, no, I totally get what you mean. I think the last time I cried was actually, no, it was just a couple weeks ago when we did our winter review because I binged Demon Slayer, right? And the the opening to that, the Entertainment District arc is Tanjiro screaming at Akaza, calling him a coward and then like showing Ren, spoiler alert right here, um, Ren Goku, you know, dying. Yeah. And the way they edited it was just like, okay. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I didn't know how to relive yeah. this one. <laughs> oh, I would say Boji is definitely a, a, a life lesson uh, show as well. Oh, yeah. I cried at that, too. Yeah. I cried at that, too. Yeah, That's there right. were definitely a lot of moments in there where I was just like, I cried. Like, uh. Or I didn't really like, cry cry. I feel like I need to watch a little bit more of it. Like, I definitely, the, I there were definite some moments where I was welling up, but it was not full full blown, like, ugly crying kind of thing so. dude you know you know why you know why kill a kill is a 10 on my shit first of all because it's kill a kill second of all because i cried at the end of it and the, here's another spoiler alert so if you haven't seen kill a kill but um that moment when ryuko's falling and everybody catches her mm. every character that you started off kind of hating at first and they're all they're all allies now and they mm-hmm. all catch her mm-hmm. and you know, she says Okaidi or you know Tadaima, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, oh, okay, <laughs> we're having a moment. I'm tearing up. <laughs> like, I was like, I love that dude. I, it's so, it was so gay. It was so perfect. It was so gay. Like, but yeah, dude. Um. Also, Banania. 
Banana. Because they're just little kitties and bananas. And bananas. <laughs> Can we get a dog version of this? Oh, please. Can we get a banana inu? Inu? Please, inu please. banana? Um, inu ko banana? Who w- would you want to groom you? I don't know what that means, but if... Kind of, I guess, like, I think they mean, like, like, like kind of... Um, no, like, like uh, life lessons raise you with life lessons. Oh, like, okay. Who would you model yourself after? Have mm. your role model as, and for them to, like... I don't know. I feel like... Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. Maybe Gendo Ikari. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe um, maybe a sailor scout or something because like sailor scouts, their big thing, right, is like they know that kindness isn't a weakness, and mm-hmm. kindness is like the only like the only way to like solve things. But sometimes you just can't fucking do that, and yeah. you have to fucking kick someone's ass. Yeah, and like that's absolutely fucking true. Like fuck you, dude. Like I'm not gonna let you push me around, right? I'll kick your ass if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> but not before I try and show you kindness in some way. Like, yeah, we can work it yeah. out, you know? Um, sometimes I think I talk a big game. Like, you know, I, I talk a lot of shit. Like, oh, I mean, fuck, I think we f- all do. At least yeah. you and I definitely talk big game. But, like, yeah. at heart, we're I, just big softies. It was like a, it was like a <laughs> kind of defense mechanism, right? It's like, no, fuck you. I'll fucking cut you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and And then other times, like, you know, I'll see a kitty and I'll turn into a puddle. You know, so it's just like, uh, yeah, like you need that serotonin, you know? Yeah. So I don't know. I feel like, I feel like if someone, if I were to have like, if I were to choose a role model, maybe like, maybe like one of the Sailor Scouts, because like they're just like, or like, you know, one of those like Toru, you know, like Toru is like, oh gosh. The way she stands up to people is with kindness. And it's Mm -hmm. like, Jesus, man. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, I wasn't going to say it, but. Like, she's you almost know. on the verge of getting herself killed, right, yeah. in some of these situations. And she's still like, no, like, let's. Bell can... Dandy she's... is kind of like that, too. Yeah, Bell Dandy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I love yeah, Oh yeah. My Goddess. Oh, My Goddess. Nick is so hearing this part right now. And he's like, like, oh, here comes oh, a fruit fuck, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all bitches gonna girl it up. <laughs> <laughs> um. But no, okay, let's see. What live action director would you want to see make an anime? Um So okay, so they're saying like a director who normally makes like T TV, live action TV or Quentin movies Tarantino. make an anime. Quentin Tarantino, hey. And and um uh Takia Watiti. Did I say that right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, Taika. Taika, Waititi. yeah, 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 yeah. He did yeah. like Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, yeah. Ragn- Thor Ragnarok. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. They would be good at anime. Well, like Quentin Tarantino did that anime segment in Kill Bill, right? Yeah. Or well, he. I well, mean, he. Di- I don't know if he directed it or storyboarded it, but. Uh maybe I don't know. Well, directed it possibly, like obviously. Probably like, directed it, but I don't think. I mean. He storyboarded he it or did yeah. like. I mean, maybe he I don't probably know. just said what he wanted and then was like, yeah, yeah, do it, you know? yeah. But um, here, make this for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he's probably just like, we need to show Oren Ishii's past. So like, can you just make it so this happens or something? Yeah, yeah. That part was sick because like, dude, that was, when I, I saw like, like that was early moments when anime wasn't really, you know, as popular to, uh, I guess, quote unquote, normal world. Like, it was still more. Anime was still definitely, like, closed off, um, and it was just among the nerdy people, really. So, and when right. that animation came out, you know, that was just like, oh, my God, that's so cool. It's in a freaking movie. Like, so. Yeah. 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 You know it would be really funny? It would be really funny to see um... – M. Night Shyamalan direct to anime. That'd be funny. Oh, I wonder what he could make. Well, uh, like, okay. Like, us, like the twisty stuff aside, he's made some other, like, pretty okay movies, mm. I think. I don't know. He could uh, he could make a pretty cool horror anime, right? Because a lot of the horror anime we have is, like... Debatable. 
debatable yeah. gore stuff, right? Where he could possibly make something that's like more actually scary or paranormal mm-hmm. scary, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. That'd be funny, I think. I'm trying to think who else. Oh, Wes Anderson. Oh, I was a... Dude, his fucking his fucking name just popped into my head. And you literally you just said, said right? it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, Wes Ooh, Anderson. Ooh, Wes Anderson. Yeah, yeah. That'd uh, be dope. Yeah, no, I honestly like he's at the top. He's so Wes Anderson, Quentin Tarantino, and uh, Watiti are those are my top three people that I would want them to do an anime. Hell yeah! Ooh, you know what, Ryan Coogler. I would say Ryan Coogler too. Here's why: because Ryan Coogler knows how to write like kind of that element of like I don't know. He he's really good at writing good like hero underdog shit. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because like, he did Creed, right? And then he did uh, Black Panther. He did pa- yeah, Black Panther. Yeah. 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 And I feel like he would do really good at writing some really cool underdog yeah. story, like like Ranking of Kings or something like that. Yeah. Um. um yeah, dude. Jason Siegel. He's not a director, but like he can write some funny ass shit, and I feel like he would make a really good like kind of comedy anime. Yeah, Jason Siegel's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, Jason Siegel. <laughs> um okay. Is there an era in history you want them to make an anime about? Uh no, I don't think so. Just whatever. They kinda not already really. did it with Moriarty. Is there an Aaron? Like, are you saying you want them as in the director we picked, or? Uh, no. I don't know what you um, mean. I mean, I was talking about that, like that question in particular, separately from our last, from the director one. So, or is it together? Is I don't a know. Certain, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and a certain era? No, not really. I don't. <laughs> anime to me is anime. I don't really. I'm not big on period pieces anyway. So it depends. It depends yeah, what it, depends. it is, really. It de- it depends on what it is for sure, yeah. and how um, entertaining it is. Because yeah. Roni Kenshin is technically a period piece, technically. Yeah, right. But right. it's definitely more shonen heavy than more so the history. Whereas Golden Kamui is definitely a period piece, and it talks about history and lore that goes on in the show. Yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah. hell yeah. Um, is there a hobby or profession you want them to make an anime about? Curling. <laughs> <laughs> I've said it. I've said it before, I and mean, I'm gonna say it again. I want to see a fucking sports anime about curling, <laughs> and I don't Cur- care if, if you know. The live action director wants to do it, but I just want to see that. I don't care. I think it would be funny. So, and I think it would be really epic. That's it. You know what? <laughs> you know what I would like to see actually? I would like to see a sports anime that is like um combative sports and not necessarily MMA, which I do want, which I've said before on this podcast mm-hmm. many times. But I would love to see an anime like that centers on like competitive taekwondo or karate. Yeah, yeah. And to make it real, you know what I mean? Don't make it like don't don't have a kid flying in the air doing a tornado kick. Although uh, there are some taekwondo black belts who can do that. Yeah. They fucking jump twenty feet in the air. <laughs> but like, I, I would love to see. It. Maybe it's like a maybe it's like a sixteen year old kid and he's like he wants to join a club and then he doesn't realize he's actually good at Taekwondo mm-hmm, and he like ends mm-hmm. up getting first place at the end of the show. I don't know. Like that'd be cool. Right. Make it realistic. Yeah. Maybe halfway through the show, he comes into like a conflict where like he accidentally fucking just breaks his ankle and he's like, fuck, I want to compete. And I don't know, some shit like that. That'd be sick. I would love to see something like that. Make it kind of sportsy, like sports drama, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. I would like to see that. Or, Let's get – okay, cause just because I've been really into model building lately. <laughs> Let's get a fucking – okay, because they have competitive, um, you know, model building conventions all the time, right, here here in North America and in Asia and in Europe, you know. Um, not even just with Gunpla but with everything. Like there are some that are just Gunpla but also ones that are just other stuff, you know. I would love to see that. Like I would love to see – because like in Gundam Build Fighters, we kind of got something like that. Except the reason they were building the gunplay was to make them fight each other. Mm-hmm. Whereas it would be really cool if they were making gunplay to make dioramas and enter in competitions or something. 
and you know just really exaggerate the drama like i gotta get this piece done before tomorrow and blah blah blah. and then something happens where like the bet the 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 bully character like wrecks their shit or tries to sabotage them or you know just like really exaggerate the drama Mm -hmm. maybe there's a love interest i don't know like that'd be cool i'd love to see something like that probably wouldn't be good as like a 13 episode anime probably have to be like a movie or ova or something probably i would say an ova maybe yeah 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 Yeah, something like that okay magic marshmallow you should come by more often those were good questions um then king said bucket cast okay well that would be for nick so not for us sorry Uh, all y'all should do an anime squad episode what characters would you want in your squad maybe do five each and explain why you'd want them yeah we've done episodes like that like we've done like the draft ones and and things like that quarantine the the thanos one um that's more of like a topic topic though and i was asking for like quick topics I don't know. Like it's it's easier to make squads like that when we have a goal, right? So like mm-hmm. the goal of the Thanos one is like who could beat Thanos, and then the NFL draft one is like you know who's who you have as a quarterback, you know whatever. Um, but yeah, we could do something like that again. We haven't done one like that in a while. Um, but yeah. Um. Anyways, I like how in the beginning I said, "Oh yeah, it'd be fun to go through my analysts and see like, hey, and does this show really, hold up?" And we didn't really do that. We didn't really do it, yeah. All right, real That's quick, okay. real quick. Let's just skim through. Uh, let's see here. Let me see. There's a Let couple me... of stuff on here that I finished, but I, I haven't, I didn't rate them. Like oh. Black Cat, I've seen, but okay, I didn't rate it. Yeah. So Loki kind of wanted want to watch it i almost gave this show to nick as a as a pick for the show swap oh dude okay i've already picked what i'm swapping with y'all <laughs> because i want to see myself if the show still holds up um so who's ever swapping with me next i want them to watch this uh rain the conqueror, rain the conqueror. alexander senki Oh yeah, dude. That I show remember is... watching a little bit of that, like on Adult Swim. That show was sick, dude. Like, I, I, if I if I remember it being as sick as I remember it being, then I'm gonna blow all y'all out the fucking water. <laughs> but like, the character design and setting design for the show is by Peter Where Chung. I even have that. Who did Aeon Flux? So that's why it was fucking dope. You know what I mean? And then uh, it was, like, kind of like an original attempt at American anime distribution, kind of, you know? Which is kind of fucking cool. But, like, it's it's based on a light novel from, like, the 90s, right? So then uh, from Kadokawa Haruki Office. And I guess they made a movie of it, too. And I don't know if that movie's, like, a retell or, or whatever. But, like, it turns out that he's, like, Alexander the Great is, like, it turns out that he might be, like, the devil or whatever. Yeah. And it's, like, yeah. it's, like, some, it's fucking badass, dude. It's so <laughs> fucking sick. And, like, there's, like, they, they like, there's a part where they fight against, uh, there's, like, Ptolemy, Attilus, Parmenion, and Cletus. And they, like, try and take over Macedonia and shit yeah. and Dino- Dinocrates and shit. I, yeah, always like, fucking... thought, I always thought that this was, like, super freaky because... Like, their armor is not your typical armor. Like, they're in, like, these Speedo kind of things. It is really weird. Yeah, like, it's, they're, like, in, the, yeah, the, especially the the blue outfit that Alexander wears in the beginning is, yeah. like, yeah, it's it's got this weird, like, almost cyberpunky design to it, and it's, like, yeah. Everybody's, like, almost damn naked. And then I remember, like, his fucking mom, right, like, does it with a snake or some shit. She's, like, doing it with a snake. I don't remember that. I I didn't watch too much of this because, again, like, I thought this was, like, a weird show when it was airing. So. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Peter Chung, man. Peter Chung is, he did Aeon Flux. So, like, if you guys remember Aeon Flux. 
Which we should do like a fucking. We should do like a fucking review on Aeon Flux because that's like. I have not seen that in a long time. Mm -hmm. I don't even think I've ever even watched it all the way through now that I think about it. I will say another show that I feel like I don't know if it'll hold up now is Dian Angel. I don't think I've ever seen that. It was, oh gosh, it was, it was super popular when it first came out and everything like that. Um, you know, there's, you have like Daisuke, uh, Niwa, and he's kind of like, uh, he realizes that he turns into the legendary phantom thief known as Dark Mousy. So, um, and it, has it has something to do like with Daisuke's past and everything like that, and then you know you, you have like Daisuke's uh, friend slash rival, and he turns into another uh, like phantom type of person. Yeah. So I remember seeing it. Like I remember going to like the video store and seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. But I've never watched it. I don't think. Yeah. Um. So you're wondering if that one still holds up? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's early. I feel like a lot of the early two thousand shows are like are very questionable shows that might right. not hold up. Right. Yeah, like two of the OVAs that I'm reviewing for solo casts. Like, I wonder if there's like I hope they hold up, and that's the whole point of me reviewing them is because mm-hmm. I want to because I keep recommending them to people and not knowing if they still hold up really. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's just kind of like oh shit. Um, the only like OVA I watched as a kid that I stand by 100% always is Dragon Half because it's hilarious. Mm, but um, I mean, and Golden Boy. <laughs> and Golden Boy, yeah, yeah, Golden Boy, Golden Boy. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see if I have another one to respond to yours. I don't think I – man, I'm looking – now – oh, Metabots. That's another one I want to rewatch because, mm. like, I have uh, – I just ordered, like, a Metabots model kit of Metabi mm-hmm. and – a couple weeks ago, and I'm I'm gonna put it together this weekend, and I was like, man, I should rewatch this show. Um, and the dub, I don't remember the dub being that terrible either, so I might yeah. just like watching the dub. But it's, it's you know it's proxy battle, right? So like, yeah. everyone took a shot. <laughs> but like, yeah, like I like uh I like Metabots. I wonder if it holds up. I would say it still does. Probably for you. Know? you. Probably for me, <laughs> most likely. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. Peach man. Girl, oh. I would say, is another one, but I feel like I would honestly, just for nostalgia reasons, because I enjoyed Peach Girl. That one is just like a typical, like literally nothing happens in that show. It's literally just like about a girl who, you know, likes a boy, and this other girl whose name Say, she like sabotages Momo's uh, relationship with, um her boyfriend and everything like that and then all of a sudden like you know say starts uh spreading rumors about momo and stuff like that so like it's literally nothing happens in it but to me it's entertaining <laughs> <laughs> oh you know what the escafloni series uh see i'm just gonna like that no matter what I mean, I feel like I would too, but like, I don't know. I like the movie so much, you know. The so movie's like... good, but I mean, I've seen the show too. My only thing is, I haven't seen the show in a long time. Funimation so. redubbed it. Oh. Okay. So, and that's another thing that I'm just like, ooh, is it gonna hurt? Like, am like, am I not gonna enjoy this as much because they redubbed it? And I did listen to a little bit of. The Funimation dub and some of the VA choices that Funimation cast for certain people, I was just like, oh, I feel like they, they should have swapped these people or they should have gotten someone else uh, like that kind of thing. So, um, yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, dude. All right. I mean, that's. I feel like I gotta, cause like I'm. I'm just realizing now. Yeah, a lot of my list is covered with mostly stuff from Anime Summit. So now I'm kind of. Of course, it's gotten to that point. We've been doing this <laughs> podcast for seven some years, you know. So it's like, but, yeah, like I just wonder. You know what I mean? Like I just. I'm always wondering. Always wondering. 
Like I Digimon is like you know I'm biased, so I don't even talk about it. Mm. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, dude, I think we should close this off with a game. Yeah, I think we covered some ground for this being literally a, a last minute kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> uh, Gizmo said anime guessing game, right? So let's let's do it like. We could do it like 20 questions. Let's do 10 and, questions. Okay, let's do 10. Let's each think of an anime character. And obviously don't make it one where like the other person's not going to fucking know, right? Okay. Um, but give, me like, your, let's... give me your list because that'll, that'll make it better. Okay. Hang on. I'll, I'll post my list too. Okay. Yeah, let's each think of a character. Do it in 10 questions. And then whoever gets it in the least amount of questions is the winner and gets bragging rights and can tell everyone that the other person sucks. <laughs> I'll just preemptively do it because I already know. Danny sucks. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, Only do hmm. shows that either we're currently watching or completed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, um, bu- 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 Oh, I forgot you watched Be the Beginning. Was that good or no? I don't remember. Oh, okay. Well, then it probably also be, <laughs> obviously, it wasn't that good. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember. Okay, mm-hmm. I feel like I honestly feel like you should get this one. No, no problem. But I think it might be a trip up, so that's why I'm doing it. But okay. Um. But up, beat up, beat beat beat. Let's see. Fuck. Um, shit. <laughs> is, uh, is it, did it come out in 2002? Oh, come on. Uh, hold on, let me see, let me see. <laughs> uh, no. Mm. Okay, so it's an old show. Um, is this character from a romance show? Oh, uh, I mean, there's, there's, it's not mainly a romance show, so I'll just say no. Mm. So there's, (laughs) yeah, there's yes, no, or or middle, middle, middle. So I'll just say middle. More like middle to no, but yeah, it's there's romance in it, but no, I'll just say no, yeah, no. Okay. Is it a drama? It's no. Damn it. I mean, yeah, there's drama in it, but no, yeah. Mm. So is it a shonen? No. Okay. Slice of life. <laughs> I'm just no. like going down the list. Holy shit! Okay. That's like what five questions already. Yeah. Uh, this is hard. Holy crap. Um. Okay, is this character a boy? Yes. Does this character have white hair? Yes. Is it Shishomaru? <laughs> no. Oh damn it. Um Uh fuck. I don't know. You got two more questions left. <laughs> okay, so it's a boy and it has they have white hair. Is it long yeah. hair? Yes. Is it is it you from Card Captor Sakura? Yeah, it's UA. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! I was like, the white hair was like shit. She got I it. I mean, <laughs> there are very few white headed characters that I like. I'm just saying, I am dressing with my eyes every day. You heard the family, like. <laughs> okay, you got my character. Um. Yes. Okay, so you got it on the tenth. So I just had to not get it on the 
I have to get it on the 9th or not fuck up, pretty much. Yeah. Or before that. Yeah, okay. Okay, is my character a girl? No. Okay. Is the show that he's from from the 90s? Mm. Yes, but no at the same time. Oh, so like it ended in the 2000s or something? Uh, okay. Well. Oh, sorry. Don't answer that. Don't okay, answer that. Okay. That, that. Yeah, that doesn't count. Yeah, sorry. That's cheating. I was cheating. Uh, okay. Um, so okay. I'm going to say. Uh, hmm. I'm going to say no. Question. Okay, so not from the 90s. Okay. No. Well. Mm. Yeah, no, no. I'm just going to say no. <laughs> uh, is he human? Yes. Are you keeping track on how many questions you ask? Because I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I am. Okay. I, that's a, that was my third question. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay, let's see. Shit. Does... He wield a weapon of any kind. Mm, yes. Okay. Is it a sword? No. Shit. Okay, so this, that was my fourth question. Uh Is he hot? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, they cute, but I mean, I would say not like, like boner hot. Okay. Like what? But you know my taste. Yeah. No, he's not. No. Okay. No. Damn it. He's human. He wields a weapon. It's not a sword. Hmm. Oh, I got this is a good one. This is a good question. <laughs> Did we talk about this in the last hour? This show? No. Oh, okay. Fuck. Shit. Okay. That was that would have helped a lot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um Okay, I'm on question six. Here's a weapon, it's not a sword. He's kinda cute. <laughs> Maybe. Does he have black hair? No. Does he have blonde hair? Yes. Does he wear a red coat? No. Damn it! <laughs> Shit! Uh, I will... I okay, like I'm going to give you a hint. He does have something red. Okay, but it's okay. It's not a coat. Okay. Uh, he has blonde hair. He's kind of cute. His weapon is not a sword. What the? F- and he has blonde hair. Huh? He has blonde hair. Right, right, right. Yeah, because yeah, that was one of my questions. Blonde hair, kind of cute. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I okay. Does he? Is okay. Shit. <laughs> oh. Um. Does. Okay, is 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 part of his outfit blue? Yes. Do his do his eyes change color? Yes. Okay, is it Krapika? Yes. <laughs> okay, so I I technically lost because That's okay. the eyes yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. color change thing was on the 10th question. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I just realized it when I looked at my hand cuz I'm counting it on my hand. I'm like, "Oh shit." <laughs> Whatever, Danny cheated. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> Danny's a cheater, baby. 
All right. Do you 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 funny as fuck because you knew I was I was gushing about Crappy Cat like a couple weeks ago. Like, yeah, he's a badass. <laughs> You're a clown. I I couldn't think of who I was gonna pick. I was actually gonna go with Hisoka. Oh, okay. But I was all like, no, nah, let's do a twist here. Let's do Karapika. It's funny, so. dude. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, we are sorry for this impromptu topic, but we hope you guys still enjoyed it, and hopefully, we'll get Nick's stuff figured out and get back on track. And then, until then. You know, I had a lot of... I have fun doing these free-for-all topics. I feel like I could do them quite often, honestly. Yes. Yeah, um, but, hell yeah. Um, if you guys want to uh, become a patron, I don't know if I said this earlier, patreon.com slash anime summit. Because as I mentioned earlier, we do solo casts, and only patrons get those. And they're really cool. They're really fun to do. So Fun, fun. Links.animesummit.net is where you can find all that, including the Discord, so you should join the Discord to join manga club and the watch party like we mentioned earlier um but yeah thank you for listening every week i love you guys very much that being said i've been sam and that's been danny and we've been the anime summit podcast bye